time immemorial, India was one of the seafaring countries. Its seamen sailed far and near. Thus carrying and spreading Indian commerce and culture. Waterways are the cheapest means of transport. They are most suitable for carrying heavy and bulky goods. It is a fuel efficient and environment friendly mode of transport. India has inland navigation waterways of 14,500 kilometers in length. Out of these, only 3,700 kilometers are navigable by mechanized boats. Waterways have been declared as national waterways by the government. The Ganga River between Allahabad and Haldia, 1620 kilometers, National Waterway Number 1. The Brahmaputra River between Sadia and Dubri. 891 kilometers National Waterway number 2 The West Coast Canal in Kerala Kottapurma to Koman Udyog Mandal and Champakara Canals 205 kilometers as National Waterway number 3 Waterways include the Godavari, Krishna, Barak, Sundarbans, Buckingham Canal, Brahmani. West Canal, and the Mudar Valley Corporation Canal. Apart from these, India's trade with foreign countries is carried from the ports located along the coast. 95% of the country's trade volume or 68% in terms of value is moved by sea. Major Seaports Part 1 With a long coastline of 7,516.6 kilometers, India is dotted with 12 major and 181 medium and minor ports. These major ports handle 95% of India's foreign trade. Kandla in Kutch was the first port developed soon after independence to ease the volume of trade on the Mumbai port in the wake of loss of Karachi port to Pakistan after the partition. Kandla is a tidal port 
It caters to the convenient handling of exports and imports of highly productive granary and industrial belt stretching across the states of Jammu and Kashmir Himachal Pradesh Punjab Haryana Rajasthan and Gujarat Mumbai is the biggest port with a spacious natural and well sheltered harbor The Jawaharlal Nehru port was planned with a view to decongest the Mumbai port and serve as a hub port for this region port of the country This port accounts for about 50% of India's iron ore export New Mangalore port located in Karnataka caters to the export of iron ore concentrates from Kudrumukh mines is the extreme southwestern port located at the entrance of a lagoon with a natural harbor moving along the east coast you will see the extreme southeastern port of tutikorin in tamil nadu this port has a natural harbor and a rich hinterland Thus, it has a flourishing trade, handling of a large variety of cargoes to even our neighboring countries like Sri Lanka, Maldives, etc., and the coastal regions of India. Chennai is one of the oldest artificial ports of the country. It is ranked next to Mumbai. in terms of the volume of trade and cargo Vishakhapatnam is the deepest land locked and well protected port This port was originally conceived as an outlet for iron ore exports Paradwip port located in Orissa specializes in the export of iron ore Kolkata is an inland riverine port This port serves as a very large and rich hinterland of Ganga Brahmaputra basin the tidal port it requires constant dredging of hogli haldia port was developed as a subsidiary port in order to relieve growing pressure on the kolkata port very difficult terrains like high mountains dreary deserts dense forests and also long oceanic stretches with great seas the air transport was nationalized in 1953 
operational side, Indian Airlines, Alliance Air, subsidiary of Indian Airlines, private scheduled airlines and non-scheduled operators provide domestic air services. Air India provides international air services. Pawan Hans Helicopters Limited provides helicopter services to Oil and Natural Gas Commission in its offshore operations. To inaccessible areas and difficult terrains like the northeastern states and the interior parts of Jammu and Kashmir. Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand. Indian Airlines operations also extend to the neighboring countries of South and Southeast Asia. travel is not within the reach of the common people. It is only in the northeastern states that special provisions are made to extend the services to the common people. Communication Part 1 Ever since humans appeared on the earth, they have used different means of communication. But the pace of change has been rapid in modern times. Long distance communication is far easier without physical movement of the communicator or receiver. communication and mass communication including television, radio, press, films etc. are the major means of communication in the country. Network is the largest in the world. It handles parcels as well as personal written communications. Cards and envelopes are considered first class mail and are airlifted between stations covering both land and air. The second class mail includes book packets, registered newspapers and periodicals. They are carried by surface mail covering land and water transport. Facilitate quick delivery of mails in large towns and cities. Six mail channels have been introduced recently. They are called Rajdhani Channel, Metro Channel, Green Channel, Business Channel, Bulk Mail Channel. Periodical channel. Part 2 India has one of the largest telecom networks in Asia.
excluding urban places, more than two thirds of the villages in India have already been covered with subscriber trunk dialing or STD telephone facility. In order to strengthen the flow of information from the grassroots to the higher level, the government has made special provision to extend 24 hours STD facility to every village in the country. There is a uniform rate of STD facilities all over India. It has been made possible by integrating the development in space technology with communication technology. Mass communication provides entertainment and creates awareness among people about various national programs and policies. It includes radio, television, newspapers, magazines, books, all India Radio or Akashvani broadcasts a variety of programs in national, regional and local languages for various categories of people spread over different parts of the country. Doordarshan the National Television Channel of India is one of the largest terrestrial networks in the world. It broadcasts a variety of programs from entertainment, educational to sports etc. for people of different age groups. India publishes a large number of newspapers and periodicals annually. They are of different types depending upon their periodicity. Newspapers are published in about 100 languages and dialects. is the largest producer of feature films in the world. It produces short films, video feature films and video short films. The Central Board of Film Certification is the authority to certify both Indian and foreign films.